好，跟住啦，就到第七条题目呢，就有关于一个糖尿病患者阿 Tom 嘅 Tom 啦，就係做 body check 啦，个医生啦就叫佢啦，前嗰晚唔好食嘢 ，overnight fasting 断食啊。咁啊嚟到诊所之后呢，就去飲大量嘅葡萄糖溶液啦。飲完之后啦，就每隔一段时间呢，就抽一抽啲血，去睇下佢嘅胰岛素嘅水平同埋血糖嘅水平。而亦都咧，将阿 Tom 嘅数据咧，就同一个健康嘅人咧做个比较。咁左手边呢幅图咧，就系血糖水平嘅变化。咁啊，大家饮完糖嘅溶液咧，其实都系会升高嘅个血糖水平。咁但系阿 Tom 咧跌极都跌唔翻落去正常水平。你见得到啦，仍然都系好高嘅。而血嘅胰岛素水平咧，健康嘅人啊，当然系能够制造到胰岛素啦。而我哋见到阿 Tom 咧，佢嗰个血嘅胰岛素水平其实真系好少好少。Part A 佢就问咯。咁究竟阿 Tom 係屬於邊一款嘅糖尿病呢？因為我哋學過兩款糖尿病㗎嘛，分別就係糖尿病一型同埋二型，然後啦就解釋我哋嘅答案。而 Part A 呢，就係要我哋分得清。糖尿病一型同埋二型啦，两者有咩最大嘅分别呢？糖尿病一型嘅病人呢，佢系制造到好少量嘅胰岛素，甚或乎系制造唔到任何嘅胰岛素，所以啦，佢系一款 insulin dependent diabetes， 系依赖于胰岛素嘅糖尿病。而糖尿病二型呢，其实佢系制造到胰岛素，不过系嗰啲身体細胞对于胰岛素系不敏感 （insensitive）， 即系唔听话啦。咁所以啦，佢系制造到胰岛素啊嘛。咁自不然呢，糖尿病二型呢，我哋就称呼为 insulin independent diabetes， 系不依赖于胰岛素啦。咁所以成条题目呢，四分系点样摆法呢？一分就系讲下究竟阿 Tom 系边款嘅糖尿病，正如嗰三分咧，就系透过运用数据去支持我哋嘅答案啦。咁所以啦，成个作答思路咧，第一，我哋就要知道翻阿 Tom 同一个健康嘅人，当我哋饮完大量嘅葡萄糖溶液之后啦，究竟佢哋嘅胰岛素嘅水平有咩嘅变化呢？咁啊 ，Tom 制唔制造到一个正常嘅胰岛素水平呢？咁我哋发现啦，原来係唔得㗎喎。咁所以阿 Tom 自不然就係糖尿病一型，係 insulin dependent diabetes 啊。咁蓝色波波嗰两句呢，其实就係我哋嘅数据嚟嘅。我哋见得到啦，飲完大量嘅糖水之后，佢哋嘅血糖水平都会上升。咁但係啦，阿 Tom 嘅胰岛素水平呢，就比健康嘅人为之低。喎。咁當然啦，今次呢條題目呢，就冇畀嗰個數字你啦，即係喺個 y s s 嗰處呢，佢就冇畀到啦。哦，一個呢就係二十，一個呢就係一，咁佢就冇畀個 unit 你。唔緊要，如果佢有畀嘅，咪寫埋個數字囉；咁冇嘅，咪冇囉。咁所以啦，我哋見得到呢，阿 Tom 呢，佢只係能夠製造到好少量嘅胰島素，總之一定冇可能係正常水平啦。所以阿 Tom 呢，就屬於糖尿病一型啦。Part B 啦，就問我哋啦，要我哋解釋一下當。阿 Tom 同埋健康嘅人飲用完大量嘅糖水之後，咁究竟佢哋嘅血糖反應有咩唔同呢？咁成個 Part B 呢，第一樣要考我哋嘅就係控制血糖嘅機制。咁成條題目三分，究竟要點樣答呢？第一分就係先講咗究竟佢哋嘅血糖反應有咩唔同？哦，大家都升高咗嘅，不過邊個可以跌返落去正常水平啊？第二分啦，就係呢，我哋控制血糖嘅机制啦。究竟我哋嘅身体細胞佢哋会做啲咩嘢去应付一个高于一般嘅血糖水平呢？而去到第三分啦，就係利用数据去支持你嘅答案啦。第二个 concept 呢，就要比较，比较啲咩嘢呢？就係比较下阿 Tom 同埋一个健康嘅人嘅血糖水平同埋血嘅胰岛素水平，因为胰岛素係帮助我哋去控制血糖啊嘛。所以 B 呢。我哋第一樣嘢要比較嘅就係阿 Tom 同埋健康嘅人嘅血糖水平同埋胰島素水平。咁你會發現啦，阿 Tom 啦係釋放得唔足夠嘅胰島素啦，而同一時間佢嘅血糖呢係升高咗之後，係跌得好慢好慢，維持喺一個高位一段長時間嘅。咁我哋就講下咯，咁究竟阿 Tom 做唔到啲咩嘢呢？原來就係阿 Tom 嘅身體細胞唔能夠去將一啲過多嘅血糖。去吸入喺个細胞入面，自不然啦，血糖嘅水平咧仍然系好高嘅。咁所以咧，橙色同埋红色嗰句咧，我哋都答埋出嚟啦。咁呢个就系三分嘅配置。
。咁其实 Part C 佢考我哋嘅就係糖尿病一型嘅成因啊，就係佢唔能够制造正常水平嘅胰岛素。咁其实喺书本呢，都有一个好直接了当嘅答案啦。就係、是、佢需要一個外來嘅胰島素嘅供應。佢 C 咧，自不然就係注射胰島素啦，又或者啦，透過鼻腔嘅噴劑啦，去吸收胰島素嘅。咁你會發現啦，左手邊呢個 box 嗰樹咧，其實仲有其他嘅喎，時常去觀察血糖水平啦、健康飲食啦，同埋做運動。但係呢啲啦，都唔係屬於醫療嘅措施嚟嘅。咁所以啦，答案咧就只有下面呢個 external supply of insulin 啦。咁其實呢度呢，就想提返大家啦，糖尿病呢都係一個 hot topic 嚟㗎喎。除咗一二年之外呢，一三一七一九二零呢，其實都有問過嘅。其呢條題目呢，亦都係一款數據嘅分析題啊。咁所以啦，亦都列返啊，今次二零一二年嘅 One B 呢，三四五六七八九十，其實都係有關於數據或者係實驗嘅。咁所以啦，大家呢一定要睇返全視技能嘅呢一段片啦，就綜合咗六大題型，就係、是、教大家點樣去處理返一啲數據分析題目嘅。咁其實呢條題目啦，仲有啲咩嘅變奏，或者有啲多啲嘅嘢可以再問你呢？一開波啦，我哋都有講到啦，阿 Tom 係成晚冇食嘢，直至去到診所呢，先飲糖水嘅。咁其實為嘅係咩目的呢？其實就係為咗消除所有係會影響咗阿 Tom 嘅血糖水平嘅所有因素，就令到阿 Tom 呢喺進行成個身體檢查之前，佢嘅血嘅胰島素水平呢係不受干擾嘅。而第二款嘅變奏啦，就係問下糖尿病二型啦，今次就係問糖尿病一型。咁糖尿病二型又如何呢？呢、这个病人啦，饮咗大量嘅糖水之后，佢血入面嘅胰岛素水平又有咩嘅变化呢？而第三啦，去到最后尾 C 嗰条呢，就话啦，哦，佢係打針啦，打啲胰岛素就 O K 啦。咁点解阿汤唔可以食啲胰岛素落个肚度呢？咁呢个就有关于胰岛素佢嘅本质啦，因为胰岛素係由蛋白质所造成嘅。咁其實點解唔可以食啲胰島素啊？咁啊，因為喺我哋個胃度係有蛋白酶，係會消化蛋白質，而胰島素正正就係蛋白質所整嘅，咁梗係唔可以食佢落肚啦，係咪？跟住啦，我哋又嚟到一點出發嘅時間啦。今次嗰一點呢，就係糖尿病，牽涉嘅係兩大個嘅概念，第一就係非傳染疾病。第二就係體內平衡，有關於體內平衡呢，不得不提嘅就係 negative feedback mechanism 負反饋機制。今次題目冇問咁多，就係話一答呢就四分五分，就係由血糖上升啊、下降啊，跟住就導致到我哋嘅胰島素啊、高糖素啊分泌得多咗定少咗啊，然後又要講下我哋嘅身體嘅細胞又做咗啲乜嘢嘢啊，冇冇問得咁深入。咁但係佢都要問到相關嘅嘢嘅，就係、是、一個正常人同一個糖尿病患者，佢哋對於血糖嘅上升，佢哋有冇啲咩反應呢？係唔同嘅。咁兩 s 之前都拍咗一段片呢係有關於解答返負反饋機制嘅長題目，搞掂咗個思路，亦都如何拎到滿分嘅。咁我會喺留下 description 啦，放返段片嘅 link 嘅。而第二個啦就係非傳染疾病，好似糖尿病呢係屬於基因遺傳病。當然啦，題目亦都可以再問你啦，有冇其他嘅基因遺傳病呢？嚟生 cancer 呢？一二三，而呢條題目呢，亦都繼續再追問嘅就係糖尿病一型同二型嘅特徵啦。啊，咁究竟而家 Tom 佢患緊嘅係一型定係二型呢？而再進一步嘅就係去講下糖尿病一型同二型究竟有咩治療辦法同埋預防嘅方法呢？咁其實喺書本呢，都已經有一個好簡單嘅歸納咧，俾咗大家嘅，咁亦都方便大家去温書啦。Question seven is about diabetics. Tom is going to do the body check. His daughter asks him to have a overnight fasting and then go to the clinic and ask him to drink a large volume of glucose solution. After that, so we have the blood test at a regular time interval to measure the insulin and glucose content, and then compare the data of Tom with the data of a healthy person. So we can see that the blood glucose level and the blood insulin level. So you can see on the graph of blood glucose level, both Tom and healthy person, their blood glucose level increases after drinking the large volume of glucose solution. However, you can see the difference of the blood glucose level changes. And for the blood insulin level, so you can see that the insulin level in Tom's blood is still very, very low, lower than that of the healthy person. And for part A, 
which type of diabetes does Tom suffer from and explain your answer. Concept checking in part A is to recall the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So for the type 1 diabetes, the patient can produce 2 little or NO no insulin. So that's why they are called insulin dependent diabetics. Because and for the type 2 diabetics, the patient they are able to produce insulin. However, body cells are insensitive to insulin. That means the body cells do not listen to the command of the insulin. So that's why they are the insulin independent diabetics, type 2 diabetics. So for the whole question, four marks, how can we allocate the mark? The first mark, we need to identify which type of diabetes does Tom suffer from. And for the three marks, we need to use the data to support our answer. Especially for the insulin level, because for the major cause of type 1 and type 2 diabetes, the core difference is about the insulin. So for the scaffolding, we need to observe the insulin level of Tom or a healthy person after they drink a large volume of glucose solution. Can Tom produce normal level of insulin? Of course not. So we can determine the type of diabetes. So for the first two points, so we use the data. Despite an increase in blood glucose level was detected in Tom's blood, his insulin level was lower than that of the healthy person. We can see it from the graph. And the insulin level only showed little change, just slightly increased. So it shows that Tom failed to produce normal amount of insulin. Therefore, Tom is suffering from the insulin-dependent diabetes, type 1 diabetes. For part B, we need to explain the difference in blood glucose response to the oral consumption of glucose solution between Tom and the healthy person. For part B, the concept checking is to recall the mechanism of blood glucose regulation. So we need to allocate the marks 1, 1, 1. First mark, we need to state the difference of the blood glucose response. The first mark, we need to state the difference in the blood glucose response so we can see from the graph. And for the number two, we need to state the mechanism of blood glucose regulation. That's the concepts from the homeostasis. What do the body cells do to deal with the higher level of blood glucose? And for the last mark, we need to use the data to support our answer. And for the second concept, we need to compare Tom and the healthy person. But what to compare? Of course, we compare the blood glucose level and the blood insulin level. So you can see that the dogs, they are moving, and then we have the two arrows to show you that Tom, he cannot produce sufficient amount of insulin. And his blood glucose level remains high level for a long time. And his blood glucose level decreases slowly than the healthy person. That's something we can see from the data. So for the mechanism, that means Tom's body cells cannot absorb the blood glucose to the cells in order to lower the blood glucose level. And it's the reason to explain that why Tom's blood glucose level remains high for a long time and decreases slowly. And for part C, what medical treatment should Tom be given? So we can see from the test ball, there are several types of treatment or management. Monitoring blood glucose level, healthy eating, regular exercise, and external supply of insulin. So in part C, the critical concept is about the cause of type 1 diabetes. That means the insulin-dependent diabetes. They cannot produce sufficient amounts of insulin. So that's why they need external supply of insulin as the medical treatment. So for the first three, they are not the medical treatment. So for part C, Tom should be given the injection of insulin or aerosol spray of insulin applied to the nasal cavity. So for this question, you can see that it is a very hot topic. Apart from 2012, we can see that 213, 17, 19, and 20, they are MC questions. But this question is a type of experiment or data analysis question. 
So in 201, 2 paper 1B, you can watch the video for question 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for the data analysis questions. Also, you can watch the video about the synotic skills to deal with different types of questions. And I would like to talk about the possible question variation. For the first part, what is the reason of overnight fasting before the investigation? The purpose is to eliminate any stimulus of high blood glucose level for insulin production before the investigation. And for number two, how about we have a case study for the type 2 diabetes. This time, Tom is suffering from type 1 diabetes. But what about type 2? So we can observe the change of insulin level after drinking a large amount of glucose solution. And for number 3, can Tom take the insulin orally? So actually, it's checking the concept of the nature of insulin. Insulin is protein in nature. If we really intake it orally, so we shall digest it in the stomach because there are proteases to digest the protein. For question 7, what is the curriculum mapping? This question, the main idea is diabetes. And for the diabetes, there are two concepts we need to learn. First of all is the non-infectious disease and the second one is homeostasis. For the homeostasis, we have to recall the concept of negative feedback mechanism. Although this time the question doesn't ask that much about the negative feedback mechanism for the 4 marks or 5 marks question, uh, what is the change of the blood glucose level, and how will be the insulin level or glucagon level, and how will be the body activities, the cells, how can they deal with the excess amount of glucose or the inadequate amount of glucose. Kisler has already made a video about the homeostasis and the negative feedback mechanism, so you can check the description. And I will put the link in the description or the comment section. And for the non-infectious disease, first of all, diabetes is a type of genetic disease. In this question, it also gives you the sign and asks you that whether Tom is suffering from the diabetes type 1 or type 2. And after that, we extend the concept for the treatment and prevention. And in the test board, we have the brief summary for these two types of diabetes. So you can see the treatment or management and any risk factor and how can we prevent it. So I hope that it can help you for the revision.